to Vlogmas 2020. Today is day 22, so the 22nd of December. I'm looking at the wrong end. Um, and it is course to 10. Um, Abby's at her last day of work for Christmas. Uh, Neve is still asleep. Puppies are all asleep. So I'm working on Abby's hat. So this is the Wolf Moon hat. So I'm just taking some time before I go back to sewing when I'm waking up. Just sit and knit for a while. So I hope that's okay with you if I just spend a little bit relaxing. It's working on presents, but it's relaxing as it's knitting. And it's knitting one of my designs, so it's even better. Because it makes me feel good. Um, I have got a list of jobs I need to do today, or chores type thing. Um, I hadn't realised until yesterday that I had done everyone else's laundry but mine. Um, so I had to get all that washed and dried. Um, so I need to put all that away. And I need to bath the dogs later. Um, going to be not recording any of that because <laughs> you don't need normal life stuff um, so I'm just going to knit I'll do some more recording of the sewing that I'm doing some knitting um, crochet maybe um, but yeah so I'm only halfway through my list of Christmas mix and I have three days it's not going to happen I am just going to finish things after Christmas because with the postal system as it is, um, no one's going to get them before Christmas anyway. So we made the decision yesterday that the stuff that I'm making for Abby's family, I will finish it after Christmas and the stuff that I'm making for those who live in this house, I will do before Christmas. Uh, which means that I need to cast on and knit Neve a pair of gloves with his fingers. give it a go. <laughs> and let's see what else. Um, the dresses for the nieces, Kiwi and Peanut, I shall do after Christmas and send them, you know, while it's still winter. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to relax. I have a cup of tea and I'm going to sit and uh, watch Shy's vlog mess that she recorded yesterday. Um, Shy is Witchy Knits. I haven't had a chance to keep up with anyone else's vlog mess. Um, but I shall sit and binge those after Christmas. Mm. So, yeah, I hope you're all having a lovely day and doing something nice. And uh, I'll check back in with you later. Bye for now. Hi, yeah. So I'm back. Um, I'm a bit out of breath. I've just come upstairs. Um, so I'm going to start sewing. But before I do, I just want to show you the yarns that are going into my uh, midwinter sale sort of thing. So uh, these yarns are all yarns that are not pre-orders that I have in stock. And all the ones that are going to be, you're going to see, I'm just showing you them on the shelf. Um, but these are ones that are ready to ship immediately. And uh, yeah, there's going to be a sale on on the website curiousstitches.com. So I'll flip the camera around and you'll see. Okay, so we have DKs, we have Bamboo and Blue Pitch Lester, we have Reno, etc. So all of these are going to be 
ignore those bits of cardboard, they're my uh, self-striping swatches. And then the fibres at the top, uh, they're all going to be in the same. So those are going to be going up on the website this evening. Um, <clears throat> basically when this video goes live they'll be on sale. Um, and the sale is only going to last between now and Christmas Day, so midnight Christmas Eve the sale will finish. So if you want something, you've got three days to get it at sale price, um, and then they're going up back to full price. Um, so yeah, go and have a look on my website, um, curiostitches.com. Just come on to show you these. Now this is a new set that I'll be releasing after Christmas. Um, so from the new year, so there will be a 50 gram skein and then five 20 gram skeins for things like coloured hats and gloves and uh, whatever else you want. Little bits of colour for, but don't want to have to buy, you know, full skeins. So this is one of the sets and then there is a red, orange, yellow and there's green and blue set as well. And then there is a more neutrals shade, so stony sort of colours, but I don't have those dry yet. So, let me show you. So this is one colour like set. I'm very excited. Uh, so you see, I'm trying to think of new things to show you, to bring to the shop, that I, I don't really see online. Um, granted, I don't do a lot of yarn shopping myself because I can dye it myself um, but yeah and I also have another new color this one um, this is similar to my druid colorway but it's more uh, less tonal um, variegated this is just a nice mid sort of golden brown sort of hazelnut um, it is hazelnut. Um, and that one will be coming in January as well. Hey, so sewing. I'm back to finish Neve's vest. Um, it's just a loose fit. I've literally surged and then used a elastic uh, zigzag stitch, which on my machine, I use number five. Um, so if you have a machine, this stitch here, the separated zigzag gives you a nice elastic finish for your um, stretch fabric so jerseys knits all sorts so it can move um, it's good for using for underwear you know knickers and whatever as well so yes I'm going to finish this and then I'll be back hi so I'm working on another one of my Christmas gifts and I realised that what I assumed wasn't spun. And by that I mean, I thought that the felt that I had that was going to be a lining was wide enough for the project. It's not. So what I'm doing is joining the pieces together so that I can then use it to cut out the pattern. So I have re-threaded my machine brown and uh, yeah, I'm gonna join this next piece on and then cut out what I need. So now I've got my big piece, which is sufficient for what I need it for. So all I have to do now Um, and that hopefully is big enough. Yes. Don't you love it when something works out? <laughs> so I'm going to get on and do this, and I'll show you all later. Favourite cup in the world. 
doesn't look like it today, but it is, yeah. My t-shirt is moon because you're not going to moon, moon and stars. Um, I think we've got a new look, just walking past in town, I was like, ooh, put my bed on. So yes, just thought I'd actually, rather than crack straight on and carry on with this, I'd sit and take a minute with you. Um, got my candle. I always have a candle burning. I've uh, got my nice cup of tea. And yeah, my face is feeling a little bit better today. I did remember to put cream on last night and this morning. Um, but I'm tempted to try an oat mask. Not with honey, because I can't have honey. And not because I'm a vegan, <coughs> but because I'm allergic to it. Um, but yeah, because oats has anti-inflammatory properties, apparently, um, and they're one of the things that I can actually eat. So I'm going to try and uh, whiz up some oats and see, but I'm not going to show you. I just want to try it and see if it helps my skin. I'm really enjoying doing this vlogmas this year and spending time with you guys and um, connecting with the community again, I suppose. Because I took that big gap, big break, I was very much, should I continue, should I not? But actually, I love it. And I realised that it's not so much the recording that I have the issue with, it's everything else that goes on. Um, So, doing this is my happy place. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep going. Right, back to it. See you soon. Hey, back. I finished. A little project bag. Got a black zip. That's. And it's brown felt inside. So it's a box bottom. Very simple, very quick. The only faffy fiddly bit was having to do the join the felt together, but even that was quite simple. That is one more Christmas present thing done. But it's quite happy. So it is currently 10 to 2. One clock's over there. I am switching off my machines. Okay, so I've had some food, I've had another cup of tea, and I'm now about to start on the news top. So this is the um, 6483 new look uh, pattern. I have here this one, so I'm making this one for her, but I'm not going to put in the darts and the bust. Um, my palette patterns that I've been working this summer. Um, it's a little bit shorter than the pattern calls for, only about a couple of inches, um, but that's just so that it sits nicely on her. Um, now, the bust, she'll have about two inches positive ease. Um, and I'm going to do a very slight uh, seam on it so that I can get as much out of it as possible. But first, I need to change the threads on my machine back to pink. Now, luckily, I still have a bobbin with the correct thread on from when I was doing my blouse. So I'll put this one back on the stand. Pink. Oh, in case she didn't think it I now have a uh, sewing machine, sewing thread holder. It's actually one that's meant to sit on the desk, 
but I asked Abby to drill a couple of holes in it so I could literally mount it on the wall on a couple of nails. Sorry if that just made me feel a bit seasick. And yeah, I've got the window open because it's quite warm. So I'm just gonna put this back on here. And yeah, get the set up. trim the thread. I like having everything in reach. <laughs> well, that had to be a scouting thought. Is that the same one? Yes. Trim that. suppress and reinforce around the armholes and the neck and then it's done. Just a quick little shell pop that you forget not to wear around on. So yes. And I need another cup of tea. So I'm going to go make one. <laughs> 